I am so excited you joined me for today's video. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to, I made both these signs and I'm going to show you how to use scorch paint. Let's go. I'm going to repaint this sign. I'm not really happy with it. I'm going to make my own chalk paint. I'm going to take some acrylic black. This is just from the Dollar Tree. So some cheap paint and I'm going to I'm going to take this uh, plaster Paris and mix it in. A lot of people mix in baking soda, but I'm going to use this plaster of Paris. A little bit of water, kind of like mixing gravy. I don't want any lumps in it. And it doesn't the ratio, you don't have to freak out about the ratio. Just wing it. Wing it. I just want a nice coverage over this board. Gah. Gah. It's easier said than done. Okay. Holy crap. I need scissors. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I am going to... I'd get a tablespoon out. Usually I just throw it in. And an empty margarine container, throw in a tablespoon, mix a little bit of water. You don't need a lot of water just to, just so there's no lumps in your paint. You might, you might even be able to skip that part. I just, I just know this is how I make gravy. So I like to get all the lumps out. So just a little bit of plaster of Paris, a little bit of water, and then I'm just going to take this cheap paint from um, Dollar Tree. I'm just going to throw some in there. Oh, it's thick. I threw about, oh, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon and a half. And I'm just mixing it. Doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to use a chippy paintbrush. I don't really care about brush strokes and being perfect and stuff. I'm just going to get some paint on there. And you can just paint right over your projects. You don't have to, if you're not 100% happy with them, paint over them. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. This project is inspired by Jamie. Jamie at Simple Roots, Simple Living. She made a sign like this in her top 20 for the 20s, 1920. She made a top 20 um, video, and this sign was in it. And she'd taken an old sign that she was kind of tired of, didn't really love, and she painted right over it. And I'm like, you know what? I got a bunch of those signs. I don't want to throw them out. But I'm not really happy with them and they're just sitting in a box so I thought I'm gonna grab one of those signs and go and paint it hers was I'll leave the link in the description down below hers was uh, harvest farm farm harvest hers was farm harvest it was more for the fall this is I'm just going to make mine into farmer's market and mine is way smaller than hers, but, um, yeah, you should go check out Jamie. She's, she's just so genuine and down to earth. I really enjoy her. I love, I love all her projects and she does a, some great flips and some woodworking and some 
some woodworking, some flips, DIYs, and she's almost at 5,000. This month, for the month of April, I can hardly wait to see her hit 5,000. She hasn't been at it very long either. Her channel is, I think, about nine months old. And she's just a, she's just a treat to watch. So she inspired me, so I thought, oh, I gotta make that sign. I gotta make a sign. I gotta take an old one, take an old sign, repurpose it, redo it, and uh, haven't made chalk paint for a while. So I just thought it was time. It was time. Today, I'm participating in Try It Tuesday. You take a project that inspires you off, off the internet, and you try it. You give it a try. It. It's a nice way to introduce you to new channels that maybe you don't know of. It's a great way to get it off my crafting bucket list and actually do it. And it's a nice way to honor them that, oh, I really like that project and you inspired me to do it. The host of Try It Tuesday is Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs. Oh my gosh, Sammy is hilarious. She's so funny, so genuine, so down to earth. She has a house hound. I have a house hound, Ella, and she has a house hound, Hank. Who doesn't love a good old house hound? And she's just she's just a delight. You're gonna see, I'm gonna do um another sign. And, and it's inspired by Sammy. And then Sammy's co-host is Angie, the red-headed scrapper. She also is really funny and outgoing, a little bit scrappy. I do like my peeps scrappy. And she, um, she's just started, and she's like, whew. She's knocking it out of the ballpark. That girl is on fire. She is on fire. Her channel is great. My next project is inspired by, drum roll, Anika's DIY life. She is an amazing woodworker and she does step by step. She is great. Well, she was doing this Mandela sign and she was using a scorch pen through a stencil. And I thought, I've used the scorch pens before, but I find them too runny. That's why I formulated my own scorch paint. So I'm going to give it a try. It's a, mine is a different sign. And my other inspiration is Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois has... A water challenge going on right now it's a YouTube cross channel challenge hashtag YTCCC2021 I'll leave the description down below
scorch paint. I'm playing around with the formula. And then I'm going to market it and sell it. You just dip your stipple brush in it, your stencil brush. And then you take most of it off. You don't want it to bleed underneath the stencil. And I just want the circle on here. Just want this circle on here. And you know what? It's not going to be perfect. I'm tired. It's late. At, it's getting late at night. And it is what it is. It is what it is. The one thing you can do with these boards is just redo them. You can sand them. Or you can just paint right over them and redo them. I'm going to let it dry for about 30 minutes. But I want this, I want this uh, lighthouse on here. I'm going to put it off to the one side. I'll get these three birds in here and off to the one side. And I'm probably going to put Southampton there. Or not. I don't know. But so I'm just going to swirl on this this scorch paint. What it is, it's a chemical reaction. It's science and art mixed together. When you put it on the board. It's just jelly on a board. Nothing's happening. There's nothing. You can barely even see it on there. And then when you add heat, it turns into a wood burning. It's a chemical reaction and the heat activates, activates the paint. So you'll see this. Today, instead of just a heat gun, I'm gonna go outside and torch it. I'm gonna, I got a new torch, my old one broke. And uh, so I got a new torch and who doesn't like playing with a torch? So I am gonna torch this puppy up and see what happens. Now the exciting part, whoop whoop. Look at that. It's just, it's like magic. It just appears out of nowhere. It's. It is stunning, and the video and the picture does not do it justice. This turned out amazing, and it's so easy, people. You stipple it on, and then you torch it. Like, it's just so easy. It's so fun. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Angie. Thanks, Sammy, and thanks for all the inspiration. Love you. Bye.